as the Caravan Theatre is now making its way to Notting Hill, or it's taking over Notting Hill slightly, we're starting to, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, tell the story of how it all started. Because I've been able to work with so many amazing people and it deserves to be um, told. I'm also recording this on the podcast, hence the microphone, so here goes. The Caravan Theatre started a while ago. Um, in a nutshell, it's a caravan, an old caravan, that seats up to ten people inside. It's a converted caravan, and I've um, been programming 20-minute short pieces inside the Caravan Theatre. Um, and I've done this because I think it's a wonderful experience for people to go inside a space that is very unexpected, get out after 20 minutes and of having received a story. That's it really. It's the essence of storytelling to me. An essence, not the. It's definitely uh, one of them. So we go back all the way to um, 2014. This is recorded in November, no, December 2018. Um, in 2014 I had just started my own production company, uh, Robin Linda Productions. I'll talk about that another time. And I had heard of Merge Festival, which is a festival in SE1, um, a music performance and arts festival. And they're quite known for um, using unused buildings, historical buildings preferably in the area, in the SE1 area, Bankside, so between Waterloo and London Bridge, and to create art projects within in those buildings. Um, I heard of the person who runs that, who I thought then already was a mighty woman, uh, the stories I heard about her and what she creates. I know she's a mighty woman, she's still a very good friend. And um, I knew a few people who had worked with her who knew her, so I thought I, I'd, like to, um, I'd like to get to know her and see what I can learn from her, really. Um, I was already in this area active a little bit with the nursery theatre, which is also another story. So I'd met her a few times and I thought if I want to uh, get to know her better I'm, I have to find a way to um, say hello. So I sent her an email and I asked if I could intern for a day uh, just to, to see how she approaches certain things. I think it was with the main aim to learn about how to get um, funding, so corporate funding or um, any Arts Council type funding. Uh, because I was not good at that, we needed funding, I'm still not good at it, but anyway. I, um, she was uh, kind enough to reply, she invited me for a, for a day, and that day was quite uh, important to me, because she, I mean, I didn't help her whatsoever, she helped me throughout the day, and she, she told me so many things, but I think more importantly we, we kind of got on, and she taught me, um, uh, she gave me a lot of lists and a lot of tips and advices, but I think also she got to know me a little bit, and therefore I think as a, a sort of ripple effect, she asked me to program the caravan, her caravan theatre. So this is where the story gets slightly complicated. We're talking about two different caravan theatres. Um, hers is the first, the original one, which is a different, it's quite a traditional um, a gold caravan with butterfly wallpaper and the interior is still intact so it seats maybe four people uh, comfortably I think they used to do performances for only two or um, if you squeeze you can have six I've experienced six but that's a squeeze anyway I knew she'd work with a few improvisers as well that we'd worked with the nursery theatre and now she asked me to program it for Merge Festival and the caravan was located outside Tate Modern on the riverside so that's really nice and you get a good uh, crowd passing uh, that is surprised by what's going on inside a gold caravan. Well, it's theatre, etc, etc. So I got three weeks, I programmed two others and I decided to write a short piece myself, 15 minutes. Um, this is the only play I've ever written, probably also the only play I'll ever write. However, I have to say, uh, what I'm working on now, which is more comedy or clown, is I suppose it's writing, but it, for me it's a different process. This was the actual writing of a script. I was lucky enough to get help from uh, Douglas Rintoul, who is a phenomenal director and writer. That was a wonderful experience because many reasons. But for me, what kind of triggered this love 
passion for a small mobile space that can be used as a theatre was that especially exactly that what I already mentioned people um, haven't necessarily planned to go inside a caravan in this case and after 20 minutes they've they've been told a story and I think everyone was sort of gone for a little bit and um, I think that's the beauty of storytelling in general but to also host that in a space that is so unexpected I thought was awesome. We, we did it 12 times a day, six times two hours, hour break, another six times which was hardcore but I mean you get you get good at your piece and you get to know what what works in front of an audience because you you know you can't really um, you can't really uh, think too much about certain things you just have to get on it. Uh, so my enthusiasm uh, stayed and this was an awesome project merge festival and so I remember thinking I would love to do this again because I think there's something in it and you can create so many different stories not just me as a writer but me as a uh, I wanted to I knew so many people who I wanted to work with or I wanted to uh, I suppose give the opportunity to write I just wanted to share the experience I think that's what it was so I asked her um, could I use the caravan again and would Tate be alright with uh, having us uh, in, um, in front of them by, on the riverside again for maybe springtime and she advised me she said why don't you get a bigger caravan because then you can have more audience members inside and you can um, uh, sell tickets so you're not dependent on funding and um, Tate was doing some work outside of there uh, at the front so we couldn't do it there but we the possibilities of Borough Market so I thought alright Borough Market that's that's pretty cool as well that's um, a lot of people and yeah sure I'll get another caravan and I'll have a uh, larger audience so I can sell tickets let's do it which is uh, rather silly in hindsight because you why would you need a second caravan if you have one already? But hey, I think um, ignorance is, is bliss in this case, definitely. Because I was then uh, inspired to create a whole new caravan. So I thought, let's also work on the inside and create something completely different. So I asked a phenomenal artist and a dear friend, Rosa Seibin, in the Netherlands. I said, would you like to be on board and would you like to create this caravan? with me um, and she said yes and she is to me the hero in this story I mean she's the hero in life anyway but she's definitely the hero in the story so we went looking for a new caravan or a motorhome or in the Netherlands you have these uh, like porter porter cabin type um, wagons that uh, you can uh, tow behind your car but they're more difficult to uh, tow here in the UK, something with license, so that was a shame because they're quite useful and they're empty, so you can start building straight away. So we uh, we were looking for something else, uh, an empty caravan preferably, an affordable caravan preferably. There was no funding, by the way. I wanted to get funding, I wanted to get corporate funding, and I thought, yeah, and I had six weeks, I'm going to pay everyone a good, you know, a solid artistic fee, uh, but still, I'm, that, that's my aim. So um, I was going to front it with my savings, and we fa we almost gave up. But then suddenly we found a caravan in the north of the Netherlands, and it was empty. And it was 1950, so it was already charismatic from the outside, in my opinion. And why was it empty? Well, it was empty because the person who was selling it used to use it for his um, band instruments. Uh, so it was perfect. So Rosa started working with a few others who helped her, which also mighty mighty crew. And uh, I didn't know what it was going to be like. Obviously, I didn't care. I, I, I did care, but it was more like I have full faith in Rosa, because my God, she is good, and uh, she's currently taking over New York. So you know, we're lucky to have a Rosa Seven Caravan Theatre. Anyway, she uh, she drove the caravan once it was finished to London from Amsterdam. That was a whole adventure on its own. It arrived just before our Borough Market season and it was more stunning than I could have imagined. The caravan looks like a swimming pool on the inside without water but with floor lights and I think because of this, because it's so neutral and it's so completely different, I think it even it works on the senses in a, in a way that you can take in the store on a whole new level which I mean I can only say come and find out because there's only way to obviously experience or check my website and you can see what the pictures look like. 
So we had six weeks in Borough Market, which was awesome in the sense that I had six creators, writers, directors, performers work on six different shows. It was a massive failure on the fact that obviously I, well, I didn't have funding yet. That's not obviously, but in my case it is because I'm, I'm just not very good at it. Um, if anyone's out there who knows and who can teach me, please help. I've, I've been lucky enough to have people approach me for commissions, but the sourcing of it and going out there, it's just not my strength yet. I also made a mistake that I uh, delegated the the ushering or the, the hosting of the caravan. I think that delegating is good if you're running a business, however if you're starting, yeah, just do it yourself because I hadn't realised, A, Borough Market is a wonderful space with a lot of people and kind of a lot of interest but people are there to eat and not necessarily to watch theatre. So you have to first tell them and explain um, and that in itself can be approached like a performance and if you've just um, uh, gained amazing volunteers in this case who wanted to work with um, kind of theatre or art or, or production but aren't necessarily performers, you're asking too much of them and I hadn't realised what I was asking until I realised no one was, not enough people were watching the shows. So I, I did it myself then and then I realised, oh, you have to work extremely hard. So, lesson learned. Uh, also, obviously, I kind of bankrupted myself because I, I promised everyone to pay and I think that was the most important thing. So, um, uh, yeah, that, was, that wasn't clever. However, I did manage to document everything properly with uh, wonderful photographers and um, therefore I had some sort of uh, profile and I, I, could, um, I could show what I'd done. So Borough Market was great uh, for the sake of ensemble and uh, creative and artistic purposes, not great for my uh, savings but hey ho, live and learn. I uh, I then approached Vault Festival because I thought at least I, I've got something to show and I said, hey, um, I think it would work even better at Vault, would you be interested? And Vault is another uh, bunch of people that are so utterly fantastic and they said yes. Um, uh, since then we've had three years at Vault Festival um, where again I had the opportunity to approach people that either I... Uh, um, I had a call out or I knew of, uh, I get tipped through other people like work with them or they might be interested. And to me that's the essence of the joy of the caravan theatre as much as it's quite hard work sometimes and from a business perspective, no, you, it's not a lot of money. From an artistic perspective it's been one of the greatest things because you, you just, you you get to collaborate and you get to I suppose facilitate and you get to perform me as a performer myself I always try to at least do one piece not written by by me but um, performed because performing in such an intimate space is is quite uh, is a very good experience I think as a performer because you have to you, ha you can't be anywhere else but there because people are you know close so they're gonna they're gonna sense if you're uh, not completely connected to them or to the story and that's the Caravan Theatre, and we've been uh, to another uh, few places in the UK, Houghton Festival, Riot Festival, we did a collaboration with Second Home, Brick Lane, um, uh, Waterloo uh, a Food Festival, and we created the Caravan to Mime, which is a pantomime inside a caravan, obviously, also here in SE1. And um, for me, the the main importance is to no, not the main point. The main, one of the main joys is to to see an audience come out after twenty minutes, see an audience approach this caravan and go, "What is this?" And it's just a little bit of happiness you can bring to people from being a little bit traumatic, but honest. And uh, I think it's 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 been very good to me personally, and I have a lot of people to thank who um, had a similar enthusiasm to this rather silly thing. Um, and then this year uh, Yasmin Arden from Small True Theatre approached me because I had chosen not to focus on the caravan theatre as much because I wanted to make uh, comedy videos. And Yasmin was awesome enough to say I'd like to propose a project in North Kensington where she's from 
um, and would you be interested? And I said, well, yes, I am interested, but I think now it's the time that somebody else takes over from an artistic perspective, and I'll be the, I suppose in official terms, it's executive producer, but I'll, I'll, I'll be there on the sideline uh, um, training anyone who wants to know how to tow this particular caravan and how to set it up, because obviously I care about the entire look or concept of it. But now it's time that I let go of it a little bit so that um, a Small Truth Theatre can hopefully um, share so many stories in uh, the Notting Hill, North Kensington area. And luckily enough we got the first bit of funding uh, uh, for Portobello Stories this December 2018. It's three Sundays. But this is only hopefully the start and I wish um, that area uh, the experience of this caravan theatre because again it doesn't really matter where you are, people like, uh, I think people like stories and I believe in this concept and I believe that, well I've experienced that people walk out entertained and um, just, you know, it's good if time can stand still for a little bit and uh, we, we, we learn or we experience something through amazing performers which is happening as as we speak. So that is the Caravan Theatre. Um, if you're interested, check out either Small Truth Theatre, the project is called Kensington Caravan, or check out robinlindaproductions.com um, and search for the Caravan Theatre. And I'll make sure to post and write um, as many names and collaborators I've worked with in the past. Um, and if you're interested in getting involved, drop us a message. And um, yes, good luck with, with whatever it is for you that um, is similar to a caravan theatre project. Uh, I think it's all worth it either way. Thanks.